when we devalue life at any stage, we take away basic respect for all human life. How can one truly determine whose life is more important or valuable than the next? Don't you find value within yourself? How then could you encourage another woman to easily extinguish the life within her womb without giving any thought as to that person's value and worth? How do you know who it is you are so eager to extinguish? Maybe that someone would have been the person that created a cure for the disease that you or your loved one is now suffering through. But that person was not awarded the gift of life. And so therefore, that suffering will continue on. You know, some of you out there call yourselves Christians, yet you advocate for abortion. You are letting the devil manipulate your thoughts so that you can try to justify the obvious sin of murder by saying things like, well, women can take the morning after pill because it's just a clump of cells. They don't really matter. Well, might I remind you, dear person, that at one point in time, not too long ago, you were those clump of cells. Yet today, you state that they don't matter. I wonder what God would want to say to you for wanting to destroy the gift that he himself gave and created, which is life. He says to us, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And I set you apart and appointed you a prophet to the nations. Therefore, you cannot call yourself a Christian and advocate for abortion at any stage of life. God gave us the Ten Commandments for a reason. He tells us in the Sixth Commandment, Thou shall not kill. And I'm quite sure he did not have an asterisk next to that particular commandment saying, well, if you feel this way, then, or gee, if you're going through this situation, then it should be okay to murder. No, God's message is quite clear. It's crystal clear. Murder is murder. Unfortunately, we live in a day and age that celebrates the culture of death through abortion, euthanasia, a direct attack on the family, and the institution of marriage. And that is why, my dear brothers and sisters, it is imperative that you take your Christian values with you to the polls and vote your conscience. When you place your hand on that lever and you pull down, if you are voting in favor of someone that is going to allow another human being to commit murder, then you are an accomplice to murder. I think Jesus said it best, and I will leave you with these words. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. God bless everyone.